Good morning and welcome. Today is Wednesday. Um, today we're going to talk about some math. I'm going to go over and kind of review some things that we've talked about over the last couple days. I'm not going to make it super long. I just wanted to kind of go over a couple things with you. Um, we have been group counting by twos and threes to get us ready for multiplication. So some things I want you to practice are counting by twos and threes. You count by twos all the way up to 20 and then you count backwards down from 20. With the threes, you do the same thing, but you go to 18, okay? And then you count backwards from 18. When you're counting backwards, um, it takes your brain a little bit longer because you're figuring out those patterns. So it might take a little bit longer for you to count backwards. That's okay. This is really good brain work for you, okay? And then I wanted to go over with you um, maybe a couple little problems and then we will call it a day. And if you have additional questions, um, absolutely reach out and let me know, okay? So the first thing I wanted to go over with you is I want you to project a picture with three groups of five in it. So if you need to, go ahead and pause the video. You're going to do three groups of five. So, if you went ahead and did that, your board should look similar to this. I have my three groups, and I have five in each group, okay? So how many groups are circled? Three. How many are in each group? Five, okay? Now, if I wanted to write an addition sentence for that, what would that look like? I'm going to go ahead and write mine, so we're doing addition and you go ahead and write yours. So if I was to write an addition problem, it would look like this. Five plus five plus five equals 15. And if we were to skip count by fives, we could figure that out. Five, 10, 15. Now what I want you to do is I want you to write a multiplication problem. I want you to think about what that would look like. Here's my multiplication problem. Three times five is 15. Where did I get those numbers? I have three groups. There's my three. Here's my times, which, which is my multiplication symbol. Five, there are five in each group. So three times five five is 15. And that is the same answer as the addition problem. We did five plus five plus five, okay? Now I wanna go ahead and kind of talk to you about an array and show you what an array looks like so that you can use it in math. So I'm drawing out my array, okay? Here's my array. Um, what I want you to notice is an array has rows. So how many rows do I have? I have two, one, two. How many circles are in each row? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I've got two rows of six in each row. Well, I wanna write that into a multiplication sentence. So I'm going to use my array. So I'm going to go two times, and I said there were six in each row. Now I could go ahead and I could count all these circles, but we are learning multiplication. So we wanna learn how to quickly get the answer without having to sit here and count each individual circle. So I've got my two, because I have two rows, times, six, because I've got six in each row, two rows of six, and that is equal to 12. So like I said, you could sit here and count all, your, all of your circles, but we are working on multiplication and we want our brains to just know, okay, two times six is 12, right? So really those are the things that I wanted to go over with you today. 
Um, I'm not going to go over a ton. I really just want you to practice skip counting by twos and threes. Eventually, we'll skip count by other numbers also, okay? And yeah, just any practice you can get, um, go into your Zern, work through Zern, and we will continue working on this. Please reach out if you have any questions at all, guys, and I appreciate you watching, so I will see you soon.